I was young when I encountered the devil, but you know, the first thing I learned is not to be scared. You know, this is important, not to be scared, because you know, the one who is scared of you, who know who it is? The devil. <laughs> because you bear Jesus in your heart, in your, and you bear also the power of Christ in you when you are in state of grace. This is why it's so important to keep the state of grace. You know, you are shining Jesus. So you don't have to be scared. And he tried to scare you because he's scared of you. And when, yeah. You know, I will tell you a story. I was uh, with, I was uh, not, not tall, you know. But we have a big horse, and I cannot fit, you know, I was on the horse, but the, the horse is big. Eh? I cannot fit, I cannot reach nothing, and you know, I just have the, 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 the I don't know, the cord right, right, to main, right. but my, my leg was not entering in the, <laughs> so we were going on the, our neighbor, and uh, we have a big hill like that, you know, and the neighbor was at the top, and uh, I was about him with the horse going like that, you know, and uh, <laughs> suddenly, a bear. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. Suddenly, a bear came out, you know? And the horse was standing. And me, I was. <laughs> and I, I, I cannot do nothing. And I grabbed, you know, the, the hair of the bear. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was uh, of the, the, the horse. And he was going. So, so fast, finally, the neighbor stopped us. So I have to return at home. I said I will return by feet, you know. <laughs> I have to walk. So I walked down the hill, and the bear still there. <laughs> but I tell you the story, it was so nice, you know. So I saw the bear. I was young, you know, and I was scared. Ah! And I jumped, you know, because we have a fence. We have the, the fence and the fossé. I don't know, a creek. So we have a creek and a fence there. I jumped in the creek and I passed through under the fence. And the bear was so scared, he jumped over. <laughs> and we crossed together. <laughs> <laughs> so the bear was scared, I was scared. <laughs> it teach me a lot of things, you know, it's the same thing with the devil. The devil scare, he's scared of you. So he tried to scare you that you will be no more focusing Jesus, you will focusing yourself. And this is where he got the power. You know, you got Ah, where? <laughs> <laughs> but this is true. You have the power of Jesus. So how he can reach back your power, it makes you scared. This is what you do. And this is why, you know, when you face him, just the sign of the cross make him away. You know, before in front of Jesus, it's like a dust, you know? And, but to experiment that, I'm honest with you, we must be trusting in Jesus. This is the basic of faith. Jesus, I trust in you. So this is how we, we have to face. Many struggles in our life happen because we don't trust in Jesus. This is the basic, you know. When I get the last cancer, no, the, the, I don't know it was the last. I have some. So one of them, you, know, the, you remember when the Raymond gave me the last stripe? Oh, you were not there. Oh, you're so young, you're in the fraternity. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> but you know, Raymond came and because I have the cancer, big cancer, a killer cancer they call. In three months, oh, you are here in the fall with the father. You know? I was so happy. 
<laughs> but in the same time, I have the fraternity. It was just the beginning. And God is so good. So I received the, the last ride. And Raymond came, you know. He make a special. He want to do something special. So he make the prayer. He read the reading. And after that, he explained the meaning of the sacrament. And after that, he said, you know, now he can die, you know. And <laughs> He decided I will die. You know? <laughs> he was teaching the, 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 that I can die in peace. I was already in peace. You know? <laughs> so, and he gave me the last right. The problem, I don't die. <laughs> but during this time I was operating and everything, the face of the devil came. Oh, yeah. You know how? Through some of them who want to be the first, the superior. Ah. And Jesus let me lay down like that, you know, and looking at everything, teach me everything. And when I stand, I was not died. Oh, problem now. <laughs> they have to face the superior. <laughs> you understand? So all of them are gone now. Not because of me, <laughs> but because of their false desire. Because they were not commit in the fraternity for the true reason. You see? And this is often like that, that the devil will act in your family. You know, you seem to have good friends. And for sometimes, whoa, they jump and they, they broke with you. You said, What's happened to him? Or what's happened to her? I did nothing wrong. Because you are not thinking in the same way that they think. You know, they have not your thought. They have the thought influenced by the world in the spirit of the devil. And when they, you, they see that you belong to Jesus, they prefer to go away. It's happened often like that. Now it's happened many times in our family because of the teaching of the school, the influence of the society around you, the values who are upside down, the, all this you know, teaching about the false identity. You know, uh, Father uh, Struzzo talked about the identity today. You know, everyone, uh, 63 now, identity. <laughs> and the guy, the journalist, was saying that on the radio when I was uh, going home. He said, now we have 63 division about the identity of a person. And he started to laugh. He said, I cannot understand nothing inside of this, me. I think I will need a course. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? It's something wrong. So this is what the devil do. One of the smell of the devil, you need a good nose for your heart. You know? One of the smell of the devil, it's division. Division, you know? He divides everything. So this is his name, Satan, the one who brings division. This is the first step. When you are in your family, anger, jealousy, trying to interfere in the life of the other without, you know, no manner and no more values, you got division soon. This is important. So this is the, the face of the devil. And when you have someone near of you who react because you have good values of life and good values as Christian person, you see the face of the devil. And it's easy to see today. This is the message that I have. You know, in the, in the message of uh, the year 2018, it was January the 6th, two, 
2018. This is what he said to me. Watch and listen. Regard, you know, watch, look, and listen. The devil never listen. He argue. The devil, the devil make noise. Boom, 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 you know? And he have a way to walk. So, and the devil don't look. He hypnotize. He seduce. The look of the devil, it's a look of seduction. Seduction, sorry. You know. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, I was invited, uh, I was a priest at that time, and we, I was invited by my friend to, to go and have a beer at a bar. It doesn't mean too much for me, but I said to please them, I will go. So I arrived there, I, I sat, you know, <laughs> the Lord is so gorgeous. So I sat there, and when I looked, I saw all the ray, you know, passing through the, the eyes of the people to another. They were just looking for a match. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you know, I said, oops, where I am here. <laughs> and they said, what you have? I said, you don't see these people. They are just looking for a match. He said, this is normal. We are in a bar. I said, go away from, here, from there. Because, you know, it's not good. But for them, it was normal. For them, it was normal, but not for me. But the, re the good question is, who is normal or not normal? <laughs> and today they try to put you un unnormal. Yes. Yes. You know, when you try to have a good discourse about life, about something, you know, who is normally logic. They look at you strangely. Eh. Why are you thinking like that? Because it's normal. <laughs> No, it's not, it's not like that. They want you to think what they think. And you know who is the new priest in our society? Journalist. They have the pulpit of television. And then they are, you know, making news for you. They are not making news. They want you to think as they think. So they are giving you an opinion. They are not making the real news with the fact. They are interpreting the fact for you. Because you know you are not sufficiently intelligent according to their thinking that you can make a whole opinion by yourself. They have to give you one. It's amazing, huh? They are the new priests in this society. They preach. They are not giving you news. And he said, Learn to look. This is just the first. Learn to look. It's amazing, yeah? We are going so fast that we don't learn to look the situation. We are always there, you know, because of this computer, you know, and it has to be going, you know, ding, ding, this, fa this famous email, God bless. I hope this email will burn in hell a day. <laughs> All this instrument, you know, of this cell, you know, ping, 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 every time. And you know, more you answer, ping, ping, it's, come. it's crazy. You don't look no more. You just have time to, to, to answer. And when you don't answer, they don't like you. And they said to me, Father, we, we sent you an image in way and serve. And I said, I have something else to do. <laughs> I, do you believe that I will sit on my chair and answer around 300 emails per day? <laughs> and for email, but do you, mean, uh, do you think how many phones I have? 
you know, I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad about the day when we have this old letter. We can, you know, we can write a letter and send the letter. And when we express the problem in the letter, between the time that the letter was sent and the letter was received, we have time to resolve the problem. And the other gave an ID. And when it came back to us, oh, it was already done. <laughs> so this is the problem today. We are not looking of what happened. We are just, you know, reacting. This is the problem in our society. And Jesus, you know, does the father, this one. So look, learn to look with the eyes of faith. And my Holy Spirit will reveal you my presence, my signs, and my word that will not pass without being fulfilled. This is important, you know. We must look with the eyes of our faith. The eyes of our faith will come always through the knowledge of Jesus in the gospel. More we will, know, we will know Jesus through the word of the gospel, more we will see with the eyes of our, of our faith. And to see with the eyes of our faith, we must encounter Jesus by meditation, by prayer, and by making silence in our heart. This is the only way. Look at the earth. Sin breaks over people. The end of misery hurts my children because of their offense. Satan rav ravage hearts and hearts close to my gr grace. Men act under the impulse of temptation and disorder desire. <laughs> Sorry, I have an image. You know, <laughs> when I was young, and we have a dog, you know. <laughs> so and when we want to, to please, you know, to play with the dog, we take a little bit of uh, meat, huh? and we were doing like this. Come, come. And the <laughs> <laughs> because the dog was reacting to the meat, you know, <laughs> you know. Yes, yes, things there. So he was, he was reacting. And sometimes we have meat, and sometimes we don't have meat. You know? <laughs> Which, yeah, we just come, come. And he thinks that we have meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is us today. We are reacting like dogs because we are so much a bit to different things. That why now we are acting under the impulse of our pa passion. We no more reflect. And this is the sin. They follow their passions fed by bad desire. You know, I have a man who said to me, Father, when I go down of the hill, I always commit sin. I say, go up. <laughs> What is wrong with you, you know? <laughs> Go up. Father, Father, you know, this place there, over there? I said, no, I don't know. He said, you never went there? I said, why? He said, you know, this is not a good place. I said, oh, you went there. <laughs> if you're you go to left, and at the left, you have the <laughs> You better to go to right. <laughs> Brain. Uh, uh, uh. You know, between the ears. Greed stuns them. Look, many people think they are gods. They manipulate life in his genome. They enact laws 
for abortion and euthanasia. Satan used their science to achieve his ends and integrate bodies formed against my will. This is something. Many body now they are not human. They are different bodies and receptacle receptacle of the devil. You know, sometimes we met we met the I don't know who it was a person. We met the, I said to Louis René, I said, why is that? <laughs> he said, I cannot identify or a man and a woman. <laughs> you know, the way, the, and, but you know, not only the way, you know the, the, the something will make the difference. <laughs> in front and in the back. On the side or the other side? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is a question I have. <laughs> it's true, eh? But sometimes, you know, what is that? This is a good question. Not what it is. <laughs> or wha who he is. Well, who she is. But what is that? And the answer, you know, they are receptacle of Satan to poison, pollute life, and spread his hold, his hold, yeah, his hold, sorry. Hold, H-O-L-D. Hold, okay. They are now in our society. Satan, he, they are in our society, you know? <laughs> They are there already. They possess people. Some people are possessed. You know, you don't need a big... When you go for a war, where you will put your armies? Where is the, the troop of the other's armies? But when you have already conquered a town, you will put, not put your armies over there. They are already under your control. So Satan is like that. Sometimes you can have a town of 12,000 12, people. Just a demon is enough. Because they are all acting in immortal sin. But he will put his army where? Where you are. This is sometimes why you feel so many things. Sing, Gloria in excelsis Deo, Gloria in excelsis Deo. You will see after, you will feel whew, something as clear. <laughs> you know, no more bad influence around you. This is why when the, the you know, what the time in history of the church, in France, when they were killing during the revolution, the French Revolution, they were killing the community, you know, a lot of sisters and priests. And they, they, were saying, they were going to their death saying, singing the Te Deum. The Te Deum Laudamus. They were going to, because they were in peace. The devil cannot attack them. <coughs> yeah, this is important to know that. Now we have a lot of people who are under the influence of Satan, but we have also some creatures on the earth who are receptacle of the demon. Greed, greed, jealousy, hatred, and demons break hearts, hurt consciences, and debase intelligence. You know, sometimes you talk to you, some people, and they are supposed to be intelligent, and you seem to, they have just one cell. 
<laughs> you know, and you are waiting, and they look at you, and when the cell pass, uh, uh, you know, it says, my Lord, what is this? It seems that the people have lose sometimes their comprehension, their intelligence, their judgment. They are just, you know, blind. I have to hear three examples, but I will not give you. <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> so, look and see. Have you seen? The first word he said, look. Learn to look. And now he said, look and see. This is another perception here. You know when the, the, the man who was blind was healed by Jesus? He was healed. And after that, he was joyful. And he returned at Jesus, you know, because he was confessing him in front of the, the rabbis there. And he, 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 he continued to confess him until the time, you know, he met him. He looked, he can look, but he was seeking for him after to thank him. And he met him and he see. He has a new vision. And this is important, this new vision. I am not laid, says the Lord. Everything is moving. Do not say that I forgot you. It's, an, it's one, 2018, this one. I am not laid. Other results talk about the sign of the coming of Jesus. Uh, tomorrow I will talk about the Holy Family, and I will talk about also the chapter, the Gospel of Matthew. This, uh, this chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, you know, <coughs> Jesus gave not only the sign, but he gave also with the evangelist, he, separ he have separate two mo movements. One is regarding in our time, and one is regarding the end of time. This is what we have to see inside. And the one who are regarding in our time will be the triumph of the Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, as she promised in Fatima. And the one who are regarding in the end of time will be the triumph of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Christ the King. There will be. So, I am not late. Look. Just make a look. Not a see now. Just not the vision already. Just look. Observe. The elements are going to talk. My angel and saints are ready. They are with you to help you and protect you. They are ready for the mission of the earth. The mission of the earth. I saw... You know, the cortege of the saints coming down on the earth. And the first who opened this, you know who it was? Grandma of Jesus. Saint Anne. Saint Anne. Saint Anne. Saint Anne. I don't know how you say that, but it was her, okay? And it was the grandma of Jesus, the first. And all the others was coming. And with the others, you know, behind all the saints and all our people, who are in heaven, come down also for this final battle. You know, your relatives who are in heaven, they will fight with us. And they are already fighting for us. And plus, the angel of the Lord. And at the end of the cortege was the Virgin Mary. Yeah. St. Joseph just be beside her, you know, coming down. So... My daughter, mother of my beloved son, and your mother will come out of the cleft of the rock to bring in my faithful children. The cleft of the rock, it's the heart of Jesus who was pierced. Both hearts are moving together. You know? And this is the refuge of Mary. It's the heart of Jesus. And our refuge is the heart of 
Mary and Jesus. My son will be recognized. The manifestation of his glory will illuminate the sky, and no one will be able to escape it. He will confound the iniquity and evil erected in structure in your society. John Paul II has given a letter according to the sacraments of penance. And inside of this, he has described that the evil now is erected in a structure in our society. What is this structure? This is the body of Satan. What is the body of Satan? This is the one who have consecrated themselves to Satan to bring the darkness on earth because they feel that they will be important. But when you will finish with them, well, they will be in hell. You know, when I did my seven hate, uh, my seven heart attack, Eight, I was. I have eight, but I went. I was my seven one. Oh, on the seven one. Yeah, on the, the seven one. Okay, when I was, I was going. <laughs> so, on the seven one, you know, the guys with the ambulance came to pick me at the hospital, and then you know I was almost dying and coming back and dying because they shoot me with the nitro. You know, I have eleven shot <laughs> between the the ambulance and the hospital. So. And the guy was yelling at me, swearing at me, <coughs> saying every kind of stuff that you cannot imagine, and saying to me, if you can die, I hate you, I hate you. You know, and the guy in front said, shut your mouth, you cannot talk like that to a patient. And he was yelling, and so oh, I was coming back and out, and I hear everything. So we arrived at the hospital, and he was following. You know, the doctors and the, the nurse were <laughs> trying to make me alive. And he was following and swearing. And the doctor said, go out of here. You don't have to be here. And you cannot talk like that. And he was swearing. And finally, they put me on the bed and, you know. And after that, you know, he said, me, I want to go to hell, you know. And I was awake a little bit, you know. <laughs> I said, you want to go to hell. You will burn right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I'm gone. Four hours later, you know. <laughs> so I opened my eyes. My, hand was, my head was down and at my feet. So when the doctors, because you know, you have a long uh, robe. <laughs> I don't know what they call that, you know, this thing. So I, I, I was able to take and do it with, and he looked me, <gasps> he's awake. So he put the, the bed coming up, you know, because it was in a circle. Yeah. And I was coming up. He sat on the bed and said to me, Father, please don't do it again. <laughs> I look at him and I said, I will do my best. <laughs> But, you know, he said, we have a problem, Father. Oh, I said, which problem? He said, you know, the guy, the, the ambulance guy, because I miss oxygen, you know. I cannot recall. And he described him, uh, suddenly came back, my cell came back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you awake? And I said, yes, what's happened? He said, he burned. I said, oh, yeah, let him burn. <laughs> he said, no, no, Father, he's burning. He said, he's nude. We put him in the room, and you know, it was winter time. We opened the window, and he warmed the room. He's burning. And he said, I put the thermometer, and he blew the thermometer. And I said, I don't know what to do with that. He has no mattress on the, the bed, because he will burn the mattress. So he's nude there. And he, he burned. I said, this is good for him. <laughs> he said, Father, we must do something. I said, but it is good for him. He said, please, Father. OK, I said, bring him here. 
So they bring him on a roll chair without a mattress on, you know, on an iron one. So they bring him, and two uh, nurses was each side of him with a, t a bed cloth, you know, in front because it was new. And they were work working like that, you know, and the other was pushing him. So me, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and he bring him. Oh, yeah, it was a um, lamentation of Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's so suffering. Please, Father, it's so suffering. I burn. I said, it's good for you. <laughs> no, Father, I don't want to burn like that. I said, no, 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 you don't burn. He said, yes, Father, but I know you don't burn. You don't know what it means to be in hell. You will not burn like that. You will burn by inside, by outside. You will be kicked, you will, and you will burn a thousand times like that, you know. Oh, Father, Father, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I said, you are baptized. And the doctor said, how do you know that? I said, just a, a Catholic can burn like that. <laughs> so, and, and he, he said, yes, I'm baptized. I said, you must confess your sin. They said, yes, Father, I don't want to go in hell. He said, OK. So the doctor said, I will let you with him. And I, no, no, no. I said, stay here. You will forget everything. <laughs> So, and I confess him, and after that, I make him professing the, the, the faith of the Catholic faith, you know. And I, when I gave him the absolution by the authority I had in the church in the name of Jesus, I cast out the devil. And when I finished, everything was gone. He was healed. No more burning. But me, I was tired. <laughs> 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 so I went back, you know, and uh, three months after, I was at home, and we have a big festival in Montreal. And then, you know, at the festival, I said to my friend who was a priest, I said, I would like to go slowly to the festival to change my mind, you know, because I'm always in the room. He said, okay, no problem. So we went together, and I tell him the story. He said, Michel, I don't believe in devil. He was a priest. I said, how come you don't believe in devil? You, you're a priest. He said, no, no, no. This is story, this thing. And, I, and he said, nothing happened to you. You know, it was, they give you too much medication. They drug you, and you imagine that, you know. And this is your imagination. I said, no, no, no. It was real, I assure you. No, 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 no. And suddenly, I said, listen, somebody called me. He said, what? I said, somebody call me. He said, it's impossible, Michel. You look the crowd here and the music. How can you hear your name? I said, listen, somebody call me. He said, it's true. Somebody called you. So we were looking in the crowd. And suddenly, this man and the woman came, you know. And he said, oh, Father, do you remember me? I said, no. <laughs> He said, you know, I was the one who, uh, who cursed you, and I was burning at the hospital. I have the devil in me. And you cast out the devil. You remember that? Oh, yes. <laughs> and my friend. <laughs> and, I, and the ladies bef beside him, she said, can I kiss you? I said, here. <laughs> so. She kissed me, you know, and she said, oh, Father, I'm so thankful, you know. My man, I married a man a day, and a few weeks after, he become like a devil. I don't know what's happened to him until the dog cannot recognize him. I said, oh, yeah. And she said, yes. And I prayed during 10 years for him. And the day he came back from this hospital, I found back the man that I married. And she said, this is why I want to kiss you. <laughs> so I said, be happy. And I bless them. And they go, I look, my friend. I said, what do you have to say now? He said, yeah, I think that devil exists. I said, you know why I suffer that? Why I had this heart attack? Why I was this guy 
all the, the, the way long, you know, cursing me. And after that, all the things that I suffer, it was for you. <laughs> because you don't believe Amen. in the devil. So God wants to put your nose in the... He said, the manifestation of his glory will illuminate the sky. He talked about his sun. And no one will be able to escape it. He will confound the iniquity and evil erected in structure in your societies. I come in the power of my mercy. Listen to that. Fire, water, cold air, hot air will require very great sacrifices until the time when the prayer will rise from the earth to me. Only prayer united to the Immaculate Heart of Mary will unite you in, in the heart of my son Jesus and will calm the plagues of the greed of men manipulated by the devil. It was in, 19, uh, in 18, 2018. But the next that I will tell tomorrow, you will see what's happened. So, the other message for the fraternity. The coldness of sin in the art. You know, the, the people now have more and more cold in their heart. Yes. They can see violence, they don't react. The flame of hatred and war, internal disturbance, devastating winds, all this is under my authority. No one is reached without my permission to return to me. No one is reached without my permission to return to me. What sadness when I must respect freedom and arrive at the sentence of the warning. This too is, is part of my mercy. You know, for the Eternal Father, the warning, it's an ultimate message. An ultimate message. No one pronounces it in the same way. So, in another word, final message. <laughs> but you know, this is one of the greatest grace will be given to humanity. I said to humanity, since the day that Jesus, you know, on the cross saved the world, it will be one of the greatest one. And the sign, you know, some said that the sign in heaven is the tw chapter 12 of the Apocalypse, referring to the Virgin Mary. But for me, this is not what I saw. The sign in heaven is the cross of Jesus. And on the cross of Jesus will be the time of the warning. What time is it? You have uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Can you have your book? your book of warning. Because, you know, <laughs> I tell you the truth. I read what I said. <laughs> and, you know, in the book of uh, Christine, of the warning, I was amazed. <laughs> Not because it was me who said that. You know, I, I said, I'm honest with you. You know, every time that the Father gave me a message or I've given an instruction, I recall nothing. When it's done, you know, it's, it seemed to be and when I read back what I, it was written, what I said, I said, this is from God, certainly. Not because of me, but because of the content. You will read it, Christine, because, you know, I don't have the good pronunciation as you have in English. <laughs> what am I reading exactly? The warning. Which part of it? The one that uh, you have right. 
according to what God, the Father has given to me. At the very end, the yeah. part about you. Yeah. This is the one. Start here. Yeah. I want, I want you to hear that because, you know, what surprised me, <laughs> it's the detail. Details. I would like to tell you the message. <laughs> Father to Father Michelle Rodrigue in 2018 concerning the warning. I do not want death and damnation for any one of you. So much suffering, so much violence, so many sins now occur on the earth that I created. I now hear the cries of all the babies and children who are murdered by the sin of my children who live under the dominion of Satan. You shall not kill. These words were strong. Pray and be confident. I do not want you to be like the ones who have no faith and who will tremble during the manifestation of the Son of Man. On the contrary, pray and rejoice and receive the peace given by my Son, Jesus. What sorrow when I must respect free will and come to the point of giving a warning that is also part of my mercy. Be ready and vigilant for the hour of my mercy. I bless you, my children. What, what page continue, dear. Page. <laughs> you must continue. Je m'excuse. <laughs> Le pardon est accordé. <laughs> So the following are excerpts from Father's talks, yeah. and this is in Father's words. Over the last five years, God the Father has revealed many things to me about the near future, all of which I have shared with my bishop. Some of these things are events that have already occurred. Others are yet to come. The times are urgent. When the Father gave me the fraternity, the Apostolic Fraternity of St. Benedict Joseph Labra, which God asked Father Michel to found, he asked me to build it quickly because it will be a refuge for many priests who will come there. One of the future events that the Father showed me represents for me a Pentecost. Others call it the warning. At the close of Pope John Paul XXIII's Convocation of Vatican II, he prayed to the Holy Spirit for a new Pentecost, not for the church, but for the world. Soon, the day that he prayed for will happen. He saw it. Suddenly, the stars, the sun, and the moon will not shine. All will be black. In the heavens, a sign of Jesus will appear and light up the sky and the world. He will be on the cross, not in his suffering, but in his glory. Behind him, in a pale light, will appear the face of the Father, the true God. It will be something, I assure you. From the wounds in Jesus' hands, feet, and side, bright shining rays of love and mercy will fall onto the entire earth and everything will stop. If you are in an airplane, it will stop. If you are riding in a car, don't worry, the car will stop. If you ask me, well, how can that be? I will say, God is God. He's the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you think he cannot stop matter? Do you believe that your small plane will outrun him? No. Everything will be fixed in time, and the flame of the Holy Spirit will enlighten every conscience on earth. The rays from Jesus' wounds will pierce every heart like tongues of fire, and we will see ourselves as if in a mirror before us. We will see our souls, how precious they are to the Father, and we will see the evil within ourselves. 
The illumination will last about 15 minutes, and in this merciful prejudgment, all will see immediately where they would go if they were to die right then. Heaven, purgatory, or hell. More than seeing, however, they will feel the pain of their sins. All of them. Even the ones they have confessed in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. But the ones they have confessed will be experienced differently. Those who would go to purgatory will see and feel the pains of their sin and purification. They will recognize their faults and know what they must correct within themselves. For those who are very close to Jesus, they will see what they must change in order to live in complete union with him. For the ones who would go to hell, they will burn. Their bodies will not be destroyed, but they will feel exactly what hell is like because they are already there. The only thing missing was the feeling. They will experience the beatings of the devil and many will not survive because of their great sin, I assure you. But it will be for them a blessing because they will ask for pardon. It will be their salvation. After the illumination of conscience, another unparalleled gift will be granted to humanity. A period of repentance lasting about six and a half weeks when the devil will not have the power to act. This means that everyone will have their complete free will to make a decision for or against the Lord. The devil will not bind a person's will and fight against him or her. The Lord will calm everyone's passions and appease their desires. He will heal everyone from the distortion of their senses, so that this Pentecost, in it all will feel that their entire bodies are in harmony with him. The first two and a half weeks after the warning, in particular, will be extremely important, because the devil will not return at that time, but people's habits will, and they will then be harder to convert. All who have received the desire for the Lord, the sense that they need his salvation, will be marked on their forehead with a luminous cross, invisible to the human eye, by their guardian angel. God has not given us three ways to travel, only two. There is no gray area in between the path of evil and the path of the Lord. Those who will say, I don't know, I cannot make a decision, will not be able to remain indifferent. As God says in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 16, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. People will have to make a decisive choice, and you will understand why. Because after that, they will be left with the consequences of their decision. The time of mercy will end, and the time of justice will begin. Jesus said this to St. Faustina Kowalska. The Father said to me, renew your consecration to the holy hearts of Jesus and Mary. This is important. You know that you are already blessed because you are being made aware. Why do you think that God has chosen you to be here? Because you have a mission. When you go out, when you return to your home, you will feel something on your shoulder. What is it? The burden of Jesus, which is the mission of the Lord. If he is making you aware now of what will happen, it is because people will come back from their mystical experience of meeting God, searching for help, not knowing what to do. Some will be afraid, others will be in shock. You have been chosen for this time to help guide these people into the Catholic Church to receive the good news of Jesus. You can be young, old, do not worry if you have problems with your legs, your back. There are plenty of backs in heaven. And the Lord can renew you better than any physician. Some of you will provide brief catechetical instruction for those who know nothing of the essentials of the Catholic faith. 
first and foremost, people will need to be reconciled to God. So you will bring them to a priest for confession. I assure you, the priests who are not in a state of grace will have a hard time because they will be there in long lines for confession. I saw the lines. They will need protection and help. Please prepare the priests some sandwiches. <laughs> I assure you, if people don't halt the line, we will not be able to go to the bathroom. Remember the cure d'ars. St. John Vianney, who was in the confessional for 14 hours at times. If people are not baptized, you will bring them for baptismal preparation, which will happen quickly because time will be short. We will baptize en masse as the apostles did by sprinkling water on the crowds and making the pronouncement, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I assure you, I saw this too. When the devil returns after about six and a half weeks, he will disseminate a message to the world through the media, cell phones, TVs, etc. The message is this. A collective illusion happened on this date. Our scientists have analyzed this and found that it occurred at the same time a solar flare from the sun was released into the universe. It was so powerful that it affected the minds of the people on earth, giving everyone a collective illusion. The devil fools us even now through the new priests of the world. Television journalists who want you to think what they think, so they present the news that is their opinion. They twist the truth and you are hypnotized, manipulated into believing them. Others have spoken of these times, but I am accountable for sharing only what the Father revealed to me. I will have to answer to God when I die so I wish to be faithful to him. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. I want uh, her to read it because, you know, I, when I read that, uh, I was uh, pleased in front of the Lord because I, I you know, I said everything is inside of this. You know, the message was complete because I didn't recall myself. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks be Christine and thanks be uh, to have this uh, put in your book because you know it's for the people of God. Thank you. <laughs>